All right, welcome back, people of YouTube, to the Resident Evil HD remake on Xbox One. Like I said in the last episode, I'm extremely happy to be to be able to play the original Resident Evil on my channel. I planned on doing it anyway, and then all of a sudden I find out that uh, they were making an HD remake for uh, for uh, this gen. So I'm extremely happy, very very happy. And I think there's a... Yep, 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 yep. This is what we're supposed to do. So let's go into our menu. I wish they would make menu the start button. I don't know why they don't. But, uh, whatever. It would be so much easier on everybody if they made it the start button. Since everybody likes to hit the start button. And they made the menu, like, the select button or something. I don't know. Okay, I can't even remember what's down here. Where is the cemetery? Oh, good God. Okay. Let's pick up this. The book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Would you like to take the book of curses? Sure, why not? What? What's the worst thing that can happen? Okay, maybe I think, uh, I think we have to examine that book. Examine. Check. Oh, no, maybe not. Turn around. Oh, there's a key back here. Sure. Go ahead. Mansion key. Okay, so it opened to that. And here we go. Book of Curses. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. With all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Because that doesn't sound creepy as shit. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Okay, I still have no idea how to run. Actually, let me take a look at that key. So I'm making sure I'm not fucking... Can I not look at it? Can't look at the key? Oh, here we go. Let's see. There's an engraving of a sword. Wait, that means that that thing is upstairs. Maybe that's the key for upstairs. Eh. Whatever. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's go see if that key will fit into that door. Man, I love these animations for, like, the doors opening and stuff like that. It was always really exciting the first time that I played this game. Um... I actually remember where we're seeing the typewriter in here. It's in this room. So I will save. Like I wish they would normally keep it. Because saving is very important in this game. Yeah, right there. Okay. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon. Yes, please. Loading content. Please do not turn off your console. Wow. You can have eight. What a significant upgrade. I think it was like four on the uh, uh, GameCube, and uh, like three or four on the uh, on the uh, PlayStation, the original game. Well, here. Actually, no. I'll show you in another video. I'll pull it out and I'll show you the original case for the original PlayStation version of uh, Resident Evil, since I know a lot of people probably want to see that. Okay, so I remembered... Yeah, I think I remember where that sword key goes. It's, uh, to the right of the door in here. It's not the- it's not any of the doors upstairs. It's, uh, over here. And, yeah, through this door. And then you go to the right, and then I think you go down some stairs. Jesus, man! When you start playing a game that you haven't played for a while, and you, like, oh shit. Okay, let's see if I can see if I can just uh, get around this guy. Crap! Yeah, this is exactly what happens. Okay, screw that guy. Man, I I, I used to know how to dodge these. I swear, I swear, I used to know how to dodge the zombies in this game. Okay, this is the kitchen, I think. Yeah, there's the sword key. Okay.
All right, here's the nasty ass kitchen. I think that's the key over here. I don't even have any room for this shit. God damn it. Sure, why not? Okay, I'm totally doing this in like the wrong way here. Okay, there's no point of equipping that equip. Uh, combine. Damn it. Okay, I still have a sword key. Okay. I still have a bunch of spices you've never seen before. Hmm. I can't remember if there's... Maybe there is. Hold on, let me go back and check in that room and see if there's a trunk in there to put stuff in there. I didn't actually pay attention to that at all. Shit, and we get a cutscene. I don't even know what the hell that shit is. Well, it's a zombie coming towards the door. Ah, oh, shit. Screw it. Shoot them all. Run away. Shoot in the general area. Oh, God. Okay, screw it. I'm gonna run around them. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> okay, let's go back up in that room and see if there is a... Uh, a chest to put things in, if I remember if that's even in the original Resident Evil game. Which I really hope it is. Hey, buddy. Yep, you turn around. <laughs> oh no! Uh, it looks like I have to wait till next time. Okay, please be a chest in here. Please be one in here. Usually they're around these. Uh oh. I am completely screwed right now. Let's just hit A a bunch of times. Dang it! Picture of knights striking each other. Wait, that was probably of some importance. Let's, let's take a look at the clock. Okay, we are extremely hurt. Well, not dying yet. But uh, let's go ahead and open the next door with our sword key. And then uh, I got an idea. There's a shotgun that we are able to get instead of this piece of crap handgun. Why I'm grabbing ammo for it, I have no idea, but everybody knows, I believe everybody knows anyway, that this, uh... Wait, shit. I think I'm on the wrong side. I'm supposed to go over here, maybe. Uh... Let's see... Nope, I'm totally... Hmm... Ah, uh, yes. Let's go back through these doors. Hey, come on now. Quit fucking around. Oh, I love these animations. You never know what's going to be on the next side. Unless you've been in the room already, then you already know. But who's counting, right? I'm going to take a quick swip of water. Okay, and then I think I need to be on this side. Yes, I do. And then this door right here, I think. Okay. Yes, the new doors. The new doors. Okay. I think this is where we're supposed to be going. Alright. Down here we go. Oh, God. Screw you. Oh, Jesus. I forgot. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Okay. I think I'm going the right way. I hope so. Okay. That's not the right way. What about this door? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I went the wrong way. Oh god, Mr. Zambi is down here. Fuck off. Get in the door. Okay, I think this is where the box is. I hope this is where the box is. Ah, oh, yes. Safe area. Alright, cool. I'm gonna go put some shit in here now. 
Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, there's some first aid spray in here. All right, cool. Let's put that shit in there. Let's grab that first aid spray, actually. Put that shit there. Let's go ahead and use that right now. All right, first aid spray. We're good to go here. Okay, let's see what else we have to put in here. Alright, I'm also going to put the knife in there because we don't need that because we have the gun. Uh, nope, not putting the handgun ammo in there. Well, let's see how much handgun ammo I can actually take with me, shall we? Okay, let's go. Do, 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 do 56. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I will, however, take one of those. I don't want all of them. Come on now. Okay, fine. I'll take them out because I think there's a place to save in here. Save when you can, folks, just in case you die. You don't want to. Wow. Okay, I went back to uh, standard definition here. Always make sure you save. But do not save when you have shitty health. Uh, if you save and... Uh, let's see. If you, if you have no health and you're not really doing much, don't save. Just in case you find what you're doing and then you end up dying and then you're stuck there. Just revert back to your last save. Um, probably after this time, I'm probably going to go ahead and, uh, make another save just in case. Okay, let's go ahead and put those back in here. And, uh, we're going to go back down to the kitchen to get that key. This is the, I believe that's the, the thing that unlocks the shotgun, which I hope it is because the shotgun is a hell of a lot better. Okay, let's get around Mr. Zombie here real quick. You don't always need to kill all the zombies. It's not super necessary all the time. They're always going to be there, I think. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about them all the time. Because if you worry about the zombies all the time, you're going to be wasting a lot of ammo. Unless you're really good with the, uh, the knife, which I highly doubt anybody ever is in this game. Because it's just ridiculously hard to kill anything without getting killed. Or getting attacked by a zombie with uh, just the knife. Okay, let's go back down to the kitchen if I can remember how to get there, which I probably don't. Actually, yes, I do. <laughs> I can't remember if this entire game is basically in the same area over and over again, like in the mansion. I can't remember what else you do. Um, hmm. I think you go outside at some point. I can't remember. All right, open the door, open the door, open the damn door. <laughs> Jesus. At least the loading screens are quicker. Actually, it doesn't even feel like they are quicker. Ah, oh, God dang it. Oh shit, I have a map. Ha. <laughs> okay, you know what, I'm gonna kill this fucking guy. I'm done dealing with this crap. Oh, seriously, now you reload? Oh, good God. Took off his head. Alright. I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, I need to find the damn running button. Okay, there's two zombies in here, too. Might as well just kill them now. Unless I can just actually... No. Fuck it. Screw you guys. Give me the key. Give me the key. Give me the key. Thank you. Run, run away, run away, run away. Get out of the door. All right. All right, let's get the hell out of this area. And then, uh, where the hell is it that we need to go now? Uh, we need to go back to the... Where the fuck did we need to go again? Man, I'm, I'm even, like, man, this is, like, getting harder and harder to remember every day. Alright, we gotta go back upstairs. We gotta go back down to that area that I was in. And that's where we will get a sweet, kick-ass shotgun. And it will help us greatly. Okay, I need to figure out the damn run button. That's not the run button. What about this one? What about that? No, 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 no. 
okay, so you just like can't run in this at all. Okay. Whoa, if you do the D button, wow, it's the tank controls. Ha ha. Okay, so you're running the entire time with okay. Wow. That's actually freaking hilarious. If you use the uh these, you're doing the tank controls again. Oh god, the tank controls. Oh sweet Jesus, the tank controls. I don't even want to think about the damn con tank controls anymore. I I just can't. I don't want to think about the tank controls. The tank controls are bullshit. But they were also revolutionary at that time too because then following Sweet, uh, I believe uh, Silent Hill uses tank controls as well. Which I think is quite hilarious actually. Okay, yeah, so we are running as fast as we can. Okay, let's not get grabbed by that zombie. Okay, quit throwing up, dude. You can only throw up so much, I believe. And then, uh, oh god. Oh god. Okay, this door right here. Yes, use the old key, please. Okay, go in, damn it. Jesus, I don't want to get eaten by the zombies already. Alright. There's a flash grenade, and here's the shotgun. Yes, just some old furniture, all right. Give me that. Thank you. I don't know if I want to take that flashbang or not. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, I will take the uh, flash grenade here. Let's go ahead and grab that. And let's see if there's anything else we can grab over here. An ink ribbon, which I don't have room for. Oh, yes, I do. But I'm not going to take that right now. Because I believe there's some other stuff here. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good to know that there's plenty of kerosene. I'm not going to take that just yet, because I'm pretty positive there's still something else I could take in this room. Okay, yeah, I'll just grab that ink room and screw it, and then we'll go back and drop it off, so that way we don't have a shit ton of stuff wasted. Okay, open the door. Quickly. I'm glad they didn't get rid of those. Like, I know they can get rid of them, like, now, on, uh... You know, being on next generation and stuff like that. Hell, they could probably even get rid of the loading screens on the 360 if they really wanted to. And uh, the PlayStation 3. Uh, but I'm glad they kept it. You know, it's nostalgia or whatever like that. I'm glad that they were able to do that. And uh, actually, I'm going to use that ink ribbon to save one more time. Since we're actually at good health here. Okay, this is where I will uh, go ahead and make a second save. Just in case anything crazy happens. Medical storage room. We'll save that. Quickly, 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 quickly. Rip and save. Okay, and then I'm also going to go ahead and pause it there. So, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit the big red subscribe button to be notified when I do upload some more Resident Evil HD remake. And I'm so happy that I get to experience this with you guys. Post down in the comments. Tell me your favorite memories with... It just tell me your favorite memories with Resident Evil. Are you playing the HD remake? What console are you playing and playing it on? What's your favorite Resident Evil game? And as always, a masculinity, and I'll see you guys in the next Resident Evil HD remake. See you later. Hey, watching this video on mobile? No problem, I got you covered. You want to watch one of these videos in the small square boxes? Check the links in the description below. Featured one and featured two.